Daily tech news are like news about the tech, you know? So Apple is rumored to put more ads onto their iOS devices, specifically on their pre-installed maps, podcasts, and books uh, apps. So the thing is they've already implemented a similar model onto the App Store, and they're also planning to add more ads onto the App Store, specifically on the Today tab. And now it seems that Apple is gonna be expanding onto some of its other apps as well. So for instance, what's probably gonna happen for Apple Maps is that if you're, if you're gonna be a business, like a restaurant, for example, you could pay Apple so that your restaurant would rank higher in that specific area. Instead of just having good food and uh, good reviews and stuff like that, you know, you could just, you can sort of mitigate that a little bit by by paying for stuff. So, uh, you, I you know pretty pretty bad stuff here. They are also planning to put ads on Apple TV, which I think is actually fine because they are planning to do that in order to create a cheaper subscription plan, which would basically just be another alternative. And you know I don't think that would hurt. But putting ads on all of those other things, I don't know. Does Apple really? need the extra money you know do they really need to treat their users like that i don't know but they do have a pretty loyal fan base so they are probably gonna be just fine steam has quietly added a feature that people have been requesting for like a really long time so basically the way that things worked until now i guess if you let's say saw a free free to play game uh, on Steam, and you actually, you know, clicked on it to add it to your library, you know, specifically, you would want to do this a lot of the time, for instance, when there is a special, I don't know, promotion going on when a game that is not usually free is now free. So you just want to click on, you know, get the game. So it's added to your library, so you can play it at some point if you would ever want to play it. However, the way that this worked is you would like just add it, it would be in your library, and then you would get a pop up to download the game even though you probably didn't want to download the game right this moment. So now they have added a button finally to just add the game to your library, not just the play the game button that would also like start up all of your hard drives and uh, open up the download the game window that you didn't want. So a welcome change they've silently released and I honestly don't know why this hasn't been a thing for so long. And here we also have a new screenshot of how uh, these things are gonna look like so we already had the play game window but now there's also just a add to library button which is great the first ever x670 motherboards have been spotted so these are the upcoming premium motherboards for the next generation ryzen cpus that are probably gonna be the 7000 uh series ryzen cpus and we've we have also gotten some prices so these uh i believe all of these have been posted on some italian retailer sites and basically with the VAT, uh, these are the prices for the motherboards. So as you can see, they're pretty expensive, you know, but remember you only sort of need that other kidney, <laughs> I guess. Also, these are very like early, like, like the CPUs haven't even been like properly launched yet or anything. So are these gonna be the actual prices? I don't know. I think they're probably gonna be a little bit cheaper, but you know, this is a welcome little announcement, you know, just reminding us that yes, new Ryzen CPUs are indeed coming and my 5900X is going to be outdated and not cool anymore. And Daily Tech News has hit over a thousand followers on TikTok. So this is my favorite little uh, piece of news. So uh, I would just like to thank everyone for watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting for the odd algorithm. You know, I really appreciate it. And this is just a pretty cool little milestone that, you know, I just wanted to point out. Thank you for watching the tech news. And remember, if you don't want Apple to tattoo ads on onto your body, uh, you should f follow because that will protect you somehow.